Hello everyone! Are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, back with some fake Grand Order. Today I'm going to be starting Lost Belt 3 Sin. So I'm way at the very beginning. I'm probably going to read one chapter, do one fight, because it probably will take just about that long. I have no idea how long it's going to take, so I don't know how much reading it's going to be, but if it's fake Grand Order and it's the beginning, I assume there's about 50,000 things I need to read. So that's going to be today's video. If you're cautious of spoilers, unfortunately it's time for you to get out. Um, if you end up liking this video, remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe. I don't do a lot of these, um, <laughs> these specific type of videos. One, because they kill my voice and I'm not good at voice acting. And two, uh, usually not a lot, of, a lot of interest from what I can see. So if you really do like what I do here, then remember to leave a like. It's very impactful. So we're going to bring in Neza. I like in... God damn you, I hate you so much. I, I was gonna say, I'm about to grind up some some good old um, bond points. We're gonna get fancy with it, but no. And I have to use bad mash. God, this sucks. Video canceled. All right, everyone, thank you. No, okay. It's actually, I don't know, I'll give you a big old shield. Why can't I use mine as a... I'm keeping that Mystic Code because I always use that Mystic Code when it comes to story stuff. Section 1, the third Lost Belt. I forgot that they all start like this. It sucks so much. I They only get worse as time goes on, but just to start with one, <laughs> that's really a dick kick. You say you thought you had a dream? That it might have come to some kind of sign? You you could do anything? That absurd reason reasoning was you drinking poison from a chalice? So you think it's foolish too, huh? My wife said the same thing. His Imperial Majesty himself gave me this poison. I'll need to, all I need to do is drain it in a single go. Drain it in a single go. And I will displease him no more. What? I have slain too many for one in my position. You might say I've outlived my usefulness. I don't understand. None of this would have happened if, if not for the petty emperor. How petty the emperor is. How can you be willing to lay down your life for a man like that? You know, you may not see any sense in it, but this is simply what it must be when what it means to be a warrior. Once I heard you were going to die, I had to come and ask. Say the word, and I'll see everyone who toyed with your destiny, who forced this hollow loyalty upon you, drown in a sea of their own blood. Haha, <laughs> I'm honored you are so angry on my behalf. It's more than I deserve, and I'll admit that I have my share of regrets. But at this point, I've truly come to believe this is a fitting end to the life of Gao Changgong. I don't understand the way you talk of life and death makes no sense whatsoever. But then I suppose I can never understand as death is a concept that's never been meaning to me. Oh uh, yes, that's true, isn't it? Perhaps if anything, I should be the one begging you for forgiveness. After all, the peace I will attain in death will be forever beyond your reach. Perhaps I'm jealous, jealous of your death and of the brilliance of your life leading up to it. You're too kind, I assure you I know no more of death's secrets than you do. Even should I learn them now, they will soon be lost to a darkness. Do you have any last wishes? Good question. If I could wish for something beyond my own death, I would I would be to someday see you again. Haha, <laughs> I suppose such a wish must sound completely absurd. Not necessarily, I've seen the likes of you shatter more daunting barriers. I've seen them tame lightning, cure plagues, and even change the course of rivers. I cannot say how long it will take, but eventually the day may come when those bound by mortal lives learn to reach beyond even death. So should such a day come to pass, and if I am lucky enough to be there to see it, then I shall recall your final wish. Ah, you don't know how happy I am to hear that. In all my 33 years of life, there is nothing I've treasured more than your presence. Sip, 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 sip. That's good poison. And he killed over and died. Reality space anchor attached. Reality verification complete. Proper human history resemblance A, Lost Belt Death E. Establishing Shadow Border's existence within Lost Belt Zero Sail returned successfully. I'm glad we had another emergence that went so smoothly. How are you feeling, Senpai? I know the poison isn't actually causing you any pain right now, but I also heard you're not feeling entirely yourself. 
I'm fine, just a little short of breath is all. Uh, so cold symptoms are the worst of it, is you for you either? Well, it must be nice. I'll have you know I used to have asthma when I was a young lad. But after I read the memories of a great bodybuilder, actor, politician who once suffered from the same disease- Arnold? I followed his example and overcame it with rigorous training, though sadly I don't have his muscles to show for it. Oh. My point, young lady, is that all you need is gumption. There is no time to let your fears get the better of you. Heh, <laughs> must say. It's almost encouraging to see our commander so energetic despite his poisoning. Yep, we still got plenty of time to find a cure, and Gordy's a mage, so he's pretty well accustomed to dire threats as it is. Now let's see what it looks like outside. Four? 18 degrees Celsius, 30% humidity, gentle breeze, no unusual magical energy readings. I'm looking out the window right now, and it looks like a field. I gotta say, I'm almost creeped by how normal it seemed compared to the other two Lost Belts. I'm not quite sure how to make of it. Are there any hostels outside? Hmm, not according to our instruments. Since it looks like it's safe, why don't we all go see for ourselves? Walk, 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 walk. Walk, 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 walk. Is this really the Chinese Lost Belt? Four? Latitude and longitude don't lie. We're standing right at 32 degrees, 40 ends, 110 degrees, 50 east. Oh! 40 clicks north, 110 degrees, 50 east, or something like that. In a proper human history, this would be a Cheyenne, a major city with a population of 3.4 billion people. Well, this is certainly not a city, but it doesn't look like an untamed wilderness either. Perhaps it is a wheat field or the like? Admittedly, it would be an extraordinarily large one. I recognize the smell in the air. This is my homeland. And yet, I have no memory of this strange landscape. How confusing and depressing. It seems I am useless as a guide for you, after all. Hey, don't worry about it. All bets are off when it comes to Lost Belts. Besides, we have a much bigger role for you to play than just a guide. For the moment, I've packed up a ley line only kilometer, kilometer or so away from here. Between that and how surprisingly safe this area looks to be, I'd say we're off to a pretty good start. Now, what do you say we take the Shadow Border over to the ley line and set up a summoning circle? Got it. I'll go warm up the engine, then. You can never be too prepared for combat in these Lost Belts. Hmm. You still look so self-sure of himself. Okay, the ley line right around that well. Go ahead and park it here. It certainly doesn't look like a dangerous area, but sometimes, but something feels off. True, if anything, it looks too peaceful. And considering how expansive this farmland is, it's weird that we haven't seen any single piece of architectural machinery. The building here sh seems a little crude, too. Yeah, I've never seen anything quite like them before. Though I guess you could say this they kind of look like collective housing. I mean, like apartment building? That's right, although I'm not sure building is the right word for that um structure. All that ground that leveled, they leveled and they're still living in holes? It's like something out of the Stone Age. Maybe civilization never really developed in this world? Oh, there's some people heading this way. Shall we try talking to them? Yes, but do be careful. I doubt they pose any threat to us, but we cannot afford seeing them being seeing us as a threat. What the? Who the hell are these people, and what are they doing in our field? Looks like... Look at their weird clothes. Do you think they might be foreigners? Foreigners here? Does this mean they came from the strange storm, then? Hurry up and call the supervisor. Maybe he'll know what to do. Phew. Four. At least the translator seems to be working fine. According to our linguistic analysts, they're speaking Middle Chinese, a language that predates the Song Dynasty. Conversation is a good starting point. However, we have frightened them. This pattern is not good. Hey, did you really see foreigners? <laughs> yeah, they're right over there. See for yourself, Supervisor. They just popped in my field out of nowhere. They were riding around that weird box they wear, really strange clothes, and I think they got weapons too. Ah, oh, crap, I don't like where this is going. Will he help us out before things turn violent? Tell them it's just a big misunderstanding. If Holmes tries to explain, he'll just make things worse. Hmm, what's wrong with my explanations? We mean you no harm. Ah, she talked. 
If you don't mean any harm, then why'd you show up in the middle of the field just like that? Go on, supervisor, get rid of them for us before they ruin any more wheat. You got it. They all taken up weapons now? What do we do? Fo 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 fo! Hmm, seems rather bare bones lifestyles, not lend themselves to open minds. Afraid we'll need to pacify them before we can begin negotiations. It's now really time for detached analyst helms. Can't you see? Can't you see the charm of them or something? Gordy's the only one who can use charm spells. Well, he says he can, anyway. And even if he's telling the truth, he's still comfortably hold inside the border right now. It'd be safe to summon a servant who with power and innate charm skill, but that would require access to a ley line, which we don't have yet. It would seem we cannot avoid this battle. Unfortunately, our opponents should be willing to listen once they get us out of their system. While this would be an ideal situation for my Baritsu, I'm afraid I have to sit this one out. Right, you still have, haven't fully recovered yet. Guess we we'll got no choice then. Mash, Neza, go ahead and fight them if you that's what they want. Make sure not to harm any of them. Understood? I also would like to avoid excessive force. I will. Be careful. Yes, we'll do as a great gentleman do in the true spirit of Baritsu. Alright. We're gonna beat up some fools. I get beat up a bunch of people in a rice field, I guess. Bum, 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 down, uh, bum, 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 rice fields. Man, we really are just beating the crap out of a bunch of farmers. Alright, let me show you. Let me tell you about farmersonly.com. Beat them down, Nessa. Boom in your face, like, oh. That should be enough. Yeah, it should be. Bang, bang, bang. Some guy, let me tell you. God, I hate wasted bond points. But it doesn't matter, it was a bunch of dudes making rice. I see, so you got into a fight almost the instant you left the border. Uh, yeah, so I'm afraid we ended up in a standoff with the locals, at least we got them to back down for now. Well, thanks to your and Niz's efforts not to harm them, they do not appear to understand that our intentions are not violent now. They're currently monitoring us for what I suppose they consider a safe distance, it seems they have their own responsibilities to tend to. Correct. No signs of reinforcements. We are safe for the moment. Hmm, I see. So you managed to avoid provoking them. I'm relieved to hear that you're sharp enough to realize we're only lost travelers trying to get our bearings. Although, what about the servants? You said we can summon more once we're able to use the landing line, right? The Vinci's outside preparing a summoning circle right now. I think she's run into some kind of trouble, though. Hey guys, I'm setting everything up right now. Just give me a minute to work out the kinks. Sure, I ran into a little trouble, but don't worry, it's of the kind I'm used to. Hey, Da Vinci, are you sure it's okay to hook this weird machine up to Mash's shield? It looks super shady. In fact, it doesn't even look like it was made on Earth. Alright, that's the booster Scion gave me. Let me. Get this, a single one lets you manifest a spirit origin equivalent to three servants. She called it a, uh, whatchamacallit cell. For, unfortunately, they burn out for a single use and gotta be stingy with Woki and Gordy's lives at stake. Alright, now that we stand at a base state, as soon as we get a response from a servant side, I'll kick it in an excited state so we can start the summoning. There we go, now it's just a matter of time. As long as the servant has some connection to you, Woki, I'm sure you'll answer the summon the lost belt or not. Hmm, I see. Well done, technical advisor, in that case. You start by summoning a skilled caster capable of brainwashing these barbarians in mass. This is an emergency and an urgent one at that. We need to start making progress post haste. Full full. Are you alright with that course of action, Miss Woki? Let's just calm down, yeah, that's right. Calm down. How can I be calm? How can I calm down when I'm dead in the matter of days? I have, or have you, and have you forgotten the concerns of you too? Regardless, the summoning will take time. It will be in our best interest to negotiate while that proceeds. Sometimes, Mr. Gordoff, there is something in that to be said for not letting sleeping dogs lie. All right, then who's going to lead these amicable negotiations? Woki well, already tried and failed. Remember? Or are we going to find an angel with a smile cherubic enough to win over these barbar?
Hmm? Hmm. Oh. That's right, we're just poor, hapless travelers who lost our way. Oh, you poor thing, that must have been so hard. We didn't mean to ruin your field, I promise. Do you think we could forgive us? Oh, don't worry about that. We can always till, more, till it again. Hell, just getting to talk to such a pretty girl as it kind of makes me... Makes me... Makes me want to till the field again more than ever. <laughs> Fool. Da Vinci really is a force to be reckoned with, isn't she? She's not technically lying, but she's not exactly being truthful either. She's a demon with the face of an angel. Hmm, just look at those men falling over themselves. That outsider's got them twisted around her little finger. How can they possibly trust any of these foreigners after the beating they gave the poor supervisors? Aha, sensing an opportunity. I do beg your pardon about that, madam. Please allow me to apologize for the trampling of your fields as well. I only hope you can believe me when I say that we truly do not want nothing more than to resolve this matter peacefully. Unfortunately, the truth is that we have lost our way and we are uncertain where we are. I'm so terribly sorry to impose, but would you please tell us about this place? You are our only hope. We are? Tee hee. Well, then I suppose we um, ought to step up. True, true. I mean, if a man this handsome needs our help, the least we can do is hear him out, right? Fool. Uh, well, Holmes has his looks, if nothing else. Agreed. I do not know why we fought earlier. Well, uh, the important thing is that we reached a peaceful resolution. It looks like they were all scared more than the Miles. That seems to be good people at heart. Yay! And with that, no! Why the fuck is this? By the way, Da Vinci, that was the trouble you ran into with the Spirit Origin graph earlier? An excellent question, Holmes. Glad to see you're paying attention to the important bits. What? I thought you had already resolved that issue with the summoning servants. Eh, less resolved and more worked around. I still don't know what the problem really was. This lost belt, no, this lost belt's nothing like either Russia or Scandinavia. I tried using the ley line here to connect to the lost belt's throne of heroes, but I didn't get any responses. None whatsoever. There was nothing wrong with the equipment, so whatever the problem is, it has something to do with this world. Granted, the odds were always low that a heroic spirit from this lost belt was going to be eager to help us, so I wasn't counting on that. But it's still odd that there's been no answer at all, right, Holmes? Indeed. So I just dropped that idea and switched back to trying to summon from Chaldea's spirit origin graph. Now we're just waiting for heroic spirits to respond to our call. In fishing terms, we baited our hook and cast our line. All there is for us to do is to be patient. What could we be doing on... What could be going on, Senpai? Maybe there's no one there. Honestly, even though my genius once again carried the day, I really don't know what happened there. Full full. What I do know is that the connection to the Persona Heroes is just a connection, and it doesn't exist in the Lost Belt's ley line. It could also be that our definition of what a heroic spirit doesn't match this Lost Belt's. Definition of heroic spirit? And what exactly do you mean by that? This is a fascinating phenomenon, one that no doubt gets the heart of this Lost Belt's true nature. But right now we have nothing more to do than speculate. We'll need to collect evidence before we can begin drawing any conclusions. Oh, that sounds like that sounds to me like you already have a pretty good a good idea of what's going on, Holmes. I do have a hypothesis, but a good detective must be clear that their deduction once they are supported by clear and undeniable evidence. Now it's over. Oh, I swear to God, if there's more. Okay, there isn't. That's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. Until next time, goodbye.